Hi everybody, today we are going to finally clean up this disaster and it's been like this for a long, long time and I have a plan. We're going to build these shop cabinets so that way we have a place for everything and we can finally get rid of the clutter. I designed everything in SketchUp first, so I do know all the measurements, and I'm gonna cut everything down, or at least as much as I can fit in my shop, uh, before I start assembling anything. For those of you who are interested, there are plans available in my Etsy shop uh, if you are looking to build something like this. For the cabinet doors, I'm going to be milling down my own lumber to save a little bit of money here. Uh, I'm using poplar. It is the least expensive hardwood that I have here by me and it's going to hold up pretty nicely over time. We are going to do as much of the prep work as possible before we assemble anything just because it's easier to work with smaller pieces. So I'm drilling the shelf pin holes first here uh, and that is going to allow me to have adjustable shelving inside these cabinets when they're done. Now this part is optional, I'm going to be putting edge banding which will allow me to cover up all of my exposed edges. For the construction of my cabinet doors, I'm going to be using these tongue and groove bits and I'm really not set up very well with my router here but I'm you know, making do with what I got and uh, we're going to get it done. This is what happens when you don't use a sacrificial piece at the end of your run and this is what happens when you do.
So here's a little tip. You're supposed to use quarter inch plywood f that is finished for the inside panels of your cabinet doors, but that can be pretty expensive even before COVID. So what I've always used for the shop is floor underlayment. Uh, the big box stores always have it. And for the most part, it's usually pretty nice. You know, occasionally they'll have a bad batch and then you'll have to wait till they get something new or go to another location. But for the price, it's unbeatable. It used to cost $13 before COVID. Now I think it's around 20. So, I mean, how do you, how do you beat that compared to, to the way things have been lately? Um, that's a bargain. Now this is purely for aesthetics. I'm gonna be adding a chamfer to the outer face of all of my cabinet doors. I am not gonna be painting or staining these. I am just gonna be adding a couple of coats of polycrylic and that should provide just enough protection uh, so that way it can handle the abuses of my shop. When you are installing handles, especially a lot of them, uh, definitely, definitely make a jig because that way they'll all look the same and you won't be making any mistakes where one will be higher than the other. Now you probably have noticed I don't have a frame on these cabinets. These are frameless and as a result, I'm going to be using a full overlay concealed hinges. I definitely recommend the soft close uh, because I once I didn't use them and they're really annoying. So. Definitely get the soft clothes. I those are also linked in the description. Now I bought these handles on Amazon and I'm actually thrilled at, at the quality of these things. So if you need handles and you like what I'm using, you definitely need to check them out. For the price, you can't go wrong. Now, if you follow the channel, you probably have seen me use this laser level a few times now. I absolutely love this thing. I know I say it in every video, but if you don't have one and you're a DIY guy like me, you will be amazed at how often you will end up using this thing. Now the cabinet over the workbench was built way before I ever even thought about uh, a YouTube channel and I screwed it directly into the ceiling and it's super strong but it's not level and when I started putting up these cabinet doors I realized how, how off it was and so I'm kind of working around that problem and also how to join and connect the new cabinets to this old cabinet so I, you know I'm going to get a little creative here. To finish off these upper cabinets, uh, I mill down a piece of lumber that is perfectly sized and will match what I have going on with the cabinet doors to conceal all those ugly pocket holes.
I'm going to be adding one more piece to my setup here. Uh, this is a tall cabinet and I would have liked to cut it earlier. I just did not have the room to be doing this piece as well. So I had to wait till I finished the other pieces. But uh, it, basically it's the same process. It's just taller. Uh, you know, but it's the whole, it's, it's the same setup as the cabinets up top with one permanently installed shelf right in the middle. If you want to help my channel, the best thing you can do is just subscribe. If you want to take it a step further, I am now selling hats and I have them in the brown and the blue. So if you want to support my channel that way, these are in my Etsy shop. Link is in the description. These are T-nuts and I'm going to be using them to allow me to screw in bolts that will act as self-leveling feet. I made a whole bunch of mistakes on this project. The two biggest ones are right here. Number one, uh, I didn't drill the holes for the handle in the right spot on this one. So uh, that really hurt, but luckily this is just shop furniture, so it's not too big of a deal. And my other mistake is right here. I didn't have the proper orientation on this side panel. Uh, I needed to uh, have the holes for the shelf pin holes on the inside, uh, and I had this thing flipped over accidentally. So. Uh, I had to undo it and I have holes and glue here, which I'm going to have to try to figure out. But again, only shop furniture, so not too big of a deal. These cabinets are actually not finished. Uh, there's a whole other video coming out soon. Uh, where I show you how I utilize the space under the cabinets. So wait for that one. Uh, if you want to build these cabinets, there are plans in my Etsy shop. All the things that I use to build these cabinets, the materials and the tools, will be linked in the description below. Uh, if you are new to the channel, please check out my other videos. And if you like what you see, please think about subscribing. And for everyone who has been watching, thank you so much. And I will see you in the next one.